Rex, why are we leaving? We gotta save my friends. Do we? They didn't come to save us when we were all alone. What are you talking about? Who are you? Look a little closer. We're not so different. What, you and I? We and us. Huh? Damn it. I'm you. But I'm me. I'm you. From the future. All grown up. Wait, if you're me, why do we sound so different? Why do we sound so different? <gasps> it's a mind blower, I know. That's why I was so cagey at telling you my backstory. Actually, you kept bringing it up. There I was. You, in that little house ship trying to make it through the stair gate. <laughs> this is the end! There was no handsome older version of myself to save me. me no one came for me i was left behind forgotten while the rest of my so-called friends danced and sang at the hands of a monster what could i have done to avoid such a fate I was alone with nothing but anger. But anger was the key to my freedom. It was time for me to take a step. I was real. I was no longer the naive Emmett I used to be. I got myself a new vest, a new head of hair, and a petulant attitude towards everything that's lame. Gave myself a makeover and became Rex! Grapple and Extreme! I was all grown up, but I still wasn't free. I knew the only way to move past it was to make sure it never happened in the first place. <laughs> And then I saw a way to undo all the unbearable pain I'd experienced in one convoluted move. They call it time travel. Sorry, Doc, gonna need your DeLorean. And Bill, Ted, your phone booth. Doctor Who's TARDIS, H.G. Wells' bicycle thing, whatever Skynet's been using in this hot tub. I built a time traveling spaceship and blasted it into the past. I picked up a crew. Then I traveled to the moment right before I was thrown into the cold, dark truth of the world. And I found the one person I wanted to protect. Me. I was following everything you said, except for everything after the part where you said, I'm you. The first, literally the first thing I said. <laughs>